and here is one of the most important tips you will ever receive about dowsing. First, let's uh, get a little bit of history on what I'm going to do here. This is my sister's property, house, house, sister's property. The house is here where the little cursor is. There's a barn, and here's uh, the road. And uh, there was an old farmhouse right out in here, probably back in the 1840s, 60s when it was built. And <coughs> my sister was talking about, uh, I, well, she didn't tell me this till uh, we had a uh, reunion, a family reunion, and I was showing him how I was showing him how this uh, dowsing worked. And, she said, well, I want you to come out and, uh, and douse my property for uh, gold coins. And uh, I said, okay, what do you think are gold coins on this property, on your property? She said, well, I know they are. I said, there's a 90-year-old man. Well, first, uh, she's lived there for over 35 years. And she said a few years back, quite a few years back, said there's a 90-year-old man that delivered milk to her house. said asked her if she knew that there was gold on that property and she said no she hadn't heard nothing about it and he said well there is and then uh, later on there's another <coughs> neighbor of hers he was about 90 years old and she got to talking and he told her the same thing well uh, about uh, two or three years ago I know it was longer than that about maybe four years ago there was a black van pulled up in her yard and there's four guys got out dressed up nice and everything and they wanted to know if they could uh, metal detect on her property. And she said they had a map out and was looking at the map. And uh, they, she said, well, she didn't think so. And they said, uh, well, said we can uh, cover up all the holes. And they said, yeah, but you'd, you'd take out what you found, though. And said she wouldn't want that. And, and he said, is there any old house foundation around here? And she said, yes, there's one right on out there. And said they seemed like they got excited about that. And they tried to talk her into letting them uh, metal detect her, but she wouldn't do it. So when we got to this reunion, like I said, she wanted me to come down and check it out. So uh, I figured that sounds like there's a good uh, possibility there is a gold coin or something buried here in this place. So I got I, well, I don't I didn't go down right then. I went and map down. I went and put a map of the this area, just this like this map here, up on my television screen, and I doused the, the map and I found a spot on the map. It said that uh, there was a cache of gold coins down in the ground at this site. So I'll show you how I checked it out. You know, with this map here. So I just showed a search in this map area and pinpoint the precise spot at ground level that is directly above the cache of gold coins. First I'm getting ahead of myself. I, uh, first I asked for this to search out this map and see if there's any uh, cache of gold coins and it gave me a yes so now we're back to the where we got so we'll start that over again. So, Search in the area of this map and pinpoint the precise spot at ground level that is directly above the primary. Uh, back it up again. Search in this area and pinpoint the precise spot at ground level that is directly above the cache of gold coins. Okay, now we're it's in the search mode. See the pendulum's in the search mode. Okay, we're worn when it locks in. Okay, it's locked locked in now. It's locked in. Okay, now it's tell us to go up. We're going to follow the line of travel. Go up. Now there it's, there it's, uh, it's indicating that the spot is at this place here. So let's ask, let's see. Is there a cache of gold coins down in the ground directly below this mouse cursor pointer? Just give me a yes. Now this, uh, it gave me a yes, and we dug there, and uh, we never found nothing. So I, I checked out another spot. See, I'm gonna get, watch it down against this other spot. Is there a cache of gold coins down?